Welcome back to the channel. In today's content, we will be discussing LPS, which is lipopolysaccharide, and how this endotoxin that is produced by bad bacteria in our GI tract, how it gets there in the first place, and then basic ways through diet and through lifestyle and through supplementation, we can get rid of that. If you stick with me to the end of the video, I have a special announcement regarding the KBMO gut barrier panel test that is now offered here at MD Custom RX. Let's get into today's content. Toxin. It's produced by bad bacteria. And so one that once once you get this situation created, it's you know, it's almost too late. What do you do? I mean, the, the trains left the station. Um, and so again, many of these bacteria um, are pathogenic in the GI tract, and we and they produce this LPS, and usually the body can just clear it and get rid of it. But once you have a crack in the foundation, LPS is going to start to seep through. You can actually test. Your body will try to clean up endotoxin. It'll produce antibodies. So if you want to know if you have LPS in your bloodstream, um, there's a few companies out there that are actually testing for that. Um, we don't do that test here, but if it's something that you're going through all the protocols and you're still not figuring things out, you can actually see how much LPS might be in your bloodstream because um, you don't want any. Um, but it again, it triggers a vast number of inflammatory cytokines, um, can create direct epithelial damage, and so this it can kind of self-perpetuate too. Once this L LPS gets through the, the GI tract lining, it can actually create more damage kind of from the inside out and killing more or breaking down more of these epithelial cells. And it can cross the blood-brain barrier, which gets into that Alzheimer's, dementia, that's where you can get into suicide, the accident thing. LPS endotoxin is just not a good guy at all. Um, we, never really, we never ever want that in our bloodstream, in my opinion. It shouldn't be there. And all that can be created from stress, overuse of antibiotics, a really poor diet, and the list goes on and on. <clears throat> um, systemic LPS can be linked. It's a, so, well, this is just a handful um, I put on here, but thyroid, joint issues, heart issues, immune, liver, brain, lungs, like any system. In my mind, it's any weak point in our physiology, LPS can go and attack it. Um, so I just put a short list of them here too, but brain inflammation, depression, um, brain fog, fatigue, atherosclerosis, uh, congestive heart failure, endometriosis, um, metabolic syndrome, obesity, diabetes, and I mean, again, the list goes on and on and on and on. We really want to make sure if we have leaky gut, if it was me, I would, if I actually tested for leaky gut, I'd ask my doctor to actually find the test that you can actually test for the antibody for uh, LPS. Thanks for watching the video so far. Hopefully you are finding value in today's content. I just want to, I'll say state the obvious, which I know many patients that visit us at the pharmacy are struggling with multiple health issues now, chronic illness. And in my opinion, and that of many others, the healthcare system is getting more and more expensive. We all know this. And we are living longer, but it is coming at an unsustainable cost. And eventually that, in my opinion, those funds are going to dry out at some point. I encourage you to take advantage of the multiple systems that we have here in place so that you can be your own advocate and take care take control of your own health care. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Dan Zatarski, and I've been a pharmacist for over 20 years. I would say it's been the last 13 years that I have switched over to the functional medicine world and have really embraced the philosophy of finding the root cause of illness in the body and treating the root cause and not just putting, as I would say, a pharmaceutical Band-Aid on the problem. Yes, we are living longer. Our lifespan has expanded, uh, extended over 30 years uh, over the course of the last 60 years, so our life expectancy is longer. But what is our quality of life? I would love, my passion, my drive is to get patients feeling better and optimizing their health care. So thank you for supporting this channel. 
and let's get back into learning more about LPS. And again, at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you again a special announcement on the KBMO test kit and how that test kit has changed as far as benefiting you as the patient. There is more opportunity available through this test kit. So, so this is um, proteobacteria. These are these are the bad guys, and this is actually my result. So if you can see this, I am way over here at 64% where I should actually, the ideal range for proteobacterium is less than 9.7%. So this was two years ago. So I've got a ton of these bad guys producing LPS, a bunch of them. Um, I don't know, I haven't done the antibody test to see if I have, um, have it in my blood yet, but I could guarantee I've got it, since I've got 60%, 64% of these bad bugs, I'm definitely producing a lot of LPS, a lot of it. Um, LPS in an immune signal. So what does LPS do? It attaches to these immune cells that are, again, on the inside and on the, on the bloodstream side of our body. And then it just creates this whole cascade of inflammatory molecules. So you can, instead of, if your doctor won't test the, maybe he or she doesn't have the, um, capability of testing for the LPS, have them look at other inflammatory markers downstream. It's, it's an indirect way, but it still gives you some clue if you've got inflammation going on that might be related to, to gut permeability, to leaky gut. So um, TNF-alpha, NF-kappa-beta, interleukin-6 and 8. And I will say like a lot of these inflammatory molecules can be increased due to other issues too. So it's not, again, it's not specific, but it at least can give you some insight. Um, again, high, high levels can lead to low levels of, like here you go, T reg cells. Uh, we, when we get into T cells and B cells, you've got this kind of teeter-totter of cells that are trying to distinguish tish, our own tissue from a pathogen. And so you can look at T reg cells versus TH17 cells and see, do you have enough regulatory cells that are distinguishing your own cells from pathogens, or do you have a bunch of TH17 lymphocytes that it's just like game on and I'm going to just destroy anything and everything in, in, my, um, in my body. So more things to possibly to test for. <clears throat> um, so there are ways to just lower LPS. Um, and so here they are. So again, going back to those saturated fats, try to limit or even I would say eliminate saturated fat. If and I'm not saying all saturated fat is bad, but if we've got LPS in our blood, let's try to minimize that. <clears throat> Avoid alcohol or limit that. Definitely get rid of NSAIDs. So always think of like, oh, I've got a migraine, a headache, I've got joint aches and pains. Your NSAIDs it might temporarily make you feel better, but ultimately it's perpetuating the problem. So we've got to find out, figure out a different way to reduce inflammation besides taking NSAIDs because they're really wrecking our GI tract. And and Ibuprofen, Tylenol's fine, but like ibuprofen, uh, Aleve, Advil's ibuprofen, yeah. Secretory Ig or immune globulin A, so which helps to bind up lipopolysaccharide. So it kind of come works. You can increase your your IgA by um, glutathione, omega three fatty acids. There's all kinds of building blocks for IgA. Uh, cow colostrum is another great one that we sell, but all of that can help mop up this LPS if it does get into your blood, or even it can just mop it up and clean it out of your GI tract. So that's probably what saved me. I am a big fish oil fan. I take a lot of, um, uh, actually glutamate. I do, I do that for my acid reflux. That's probably what's been saving me from uh, having the LPS infiltrate into my bloodstream. <laughs> So lower LPS by lowering proteobacteria in the gut. So there's kind of two different ways I think of this. So if I've got a lot of gut inflammation, um, and again, maybe I'm, let's just say I'm not going to do the test per se. The doctor that I'm working with um, doesn't have access to the, the LPS test, uh, blood test. You can do some of these things empirically and see how you respond from a symptomatic standpoint, in my opinion. So... Um, it says lower proteobacteria by lowering the pH of the large intestine through uh, butyrate producing probiotics. So you could take lactobacillus probiotic, just as that one strain, or, and or uh, bifidobacterium, 
and take that strain and see if that helps your symptoms. So you could do that. Um, we talked about decreasing saturated fat already. You kind of see the, uh, the theme going on over and over here. Increasing fiber responsibly, slowly. Uh, increasing polyphenols, so berries, apples, red apples, grapes, certain nuts, cabbage, spinach, broccoli, um, and then increasing prebiotics, you know, so garlic, onions, asparagus, artichokes, beets, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Um, interesting, my daughter, we'll get to this in a minute too, but we did a food sensitivity test on her. She's uh, sensitive to pumpkin seeds, so that one would be out. Pum uh, pumpkin seeds. <clears throat> Um, a little more aggressively, you can actually go and attack the proteome bacterium that are producing the LPS. I would only do that with a trained healthcare practitioner. I wouldn't just go out to your local health food store, you know, hand them over this list of, of antimicrobial, natural antimicrobials and say, hey, can I get these? Because you could, if you kill off the proteome bacteria, you can also kill off some of the good guys and you just can create a whole other war that you really don't want. <clears throat> so you've got to do that very carefully. Sometimes you kill off one bad bug and then another bad, bad, bad bug just replaces it. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Again, at our pharmacy here, we are going to try to be putting out more content to get to the root cause of healthcare issues so that you yourself, along with your doctor, along with our help, can fix the problem and get rid of it and not let it linger on for years on end. The KBMO test kit, which I have right here, has now, is now offering the LPS antibody test. You just heard about it minutes ago in that the KBMO kit, as of last week, did not have this availability. Well, it does now. So that is for the $200 for the gut barrier panel. You can call the pharmacy at any time that we are open and order this kit. I'd be more than happy to go through the results with you and your provider and come up with a game plan on getting your health condition figured out. Until next time, have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon.